More than 40 million Americans are sweating under a heat warning or advisory. Summer hasn't even officially started. Texas in the, is in the middle of a dangerous, excessive heat wave. It's already broken heat records last week. Folks in Texas could break power usage records as well to keep cool. Joining me now is the mayor of Corpus Christi, Mayor Paulette Guajardo. Uh, thank you, uh, Mayor, for being with How hot are we talking right now? We, it is scorching hot. We, we are seeing some heat indexes, uh, indexes that we've never seen before. So this has been ongoing and we don't see a whole lot of respite um, in the near future. So it's it's been 114, I think 120 was the, the highest one that we felt. Oh recently. my gosh. I mean, what does that feel like being outside? I noticed you've got you've done one good thing, which is close the shutters behind you, right? <laughs> Keep the sun out. But what's it like to be out there and breathe such hot, humid air? You know, it's very different because we, good and bad, we, it's, it's extremely hot, but we do have, uh, we're fortunate enough to have the breeze of the water. You know, we're on the coast and that absolutely makes a difference. Now you travel up two hours to, or, you know, north or south to San Antonio or down to the valley and it is a scorch you know, just a, a, a plain hot uh, feeling. Again, the winds that we have here make a huge difference. So that is what has, if you will, saved us to, to a degree, but we're still feeling heat like never before. Yeah, a little help from mother nature, always welcome. So what are you telling folks? What's the message to people to get through this, uh, to stay cool, to stay safe? Well, we're, we've got a lot of programs out right now. We partner up with Reliant Energy, for example. They have been giving out fans, cooling fans to our seniors. Uh, we have our Meals on Wheels program where we check on seniors as we're uh, as we're dropping off their their meals daily to make sure we, we see it as a welfare check just to make certain they're OK. Um, we also have cooling centers throughout the city, multiple libraries and um, actual cooling centers, senior centers that we're utilizing for residents across the community. We're inviting them to come, you know, have some respite there, some snacks and stay cool if they need to be indoors. The other concern, anytime you have an extended heat wave, even in the winter when you have extended freezing periods is the power grid. What are you hearing right now about the stress on the power grid as everybody ramps those ACs up? Well, we are, you know, staying in close communication with our delegation in regards to that, because that is obviously a concern as it has been in the past. Um, but at this time, I'm not hearing anything that there isn't a, a real danger right now. But of course, everyone's doing their part. And it's a big team effort to make sure that, you know, we utilize and we conserve energy, you know, as much as we can. And that's very difficult because, you know, it's so hot outside. Um, people turn down their air conditioners and, and the temperature on their air conditioners. And we understand that at the same time, we just have to be cognizant and do as much as we can to conserve, you know, for the greater good of the entire state. And how are you getting that message out about conservation? Uh, what are some of the things you're telling people to do? So we're, you know, we have reverse alerts and we have uh, news releases that we're just trying to let people know, you know, there's little things that you can do. For example, like I said, when you leave uh, the house to go to work, maybe turn your air, your temperatures, you know, your controls up a little. Um, and when you come back, you can put them back down. But little things, like if everybody does little things such as that, um, it makes a huge difference. When do you all expect some relief from this hundred plus weather? I wish I could tell you. Um, I don't see, I've not been told that, you know, we, we have anything in the near future. So right now we are focused on making certain that um, the community knows there is somewhere to go. The cooling centers, for example, today are open. Um, our 600 vulnerable, you know, senior residents that, that are on our Meals and Wheels program, we make sure we're making, you know, contact with them daily as we're delivering meals. And we're just continuing to keep communication open so people know where they can go, what they can get, like the cooling fans uh, that Reliance giving out. Um, and we're going to continue to, you know, check on our community and make certain that everybody's okay. So far, so good. Um, but again, we don't have an end in sight right now. Yeah check on your neighbors and we're seeing some of the yes. farm animals as well it's hot for all involved uh, mayor paulette Guadard guajardo uh, stay cool stay safe thank you thank you so much thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find news nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage